An unusual number of rare cancers has the Centers for Disease Control investigating in a community outside St. Louis, Missouri. And Vanita Nyer is following that. You'll never forget the moment they tell you, you we found lesions on your lung and your liver. Mary Osco has stage four lung cancer. We met in her backyard with six of her neighbors, all of whom lived in the same North St. Louis suburbs. Every one of these people either has cancer or lost a parent or child to it. It was just loaded with kids and it was young families. We all played outside, played flashlight tag and kicked the can, you know. Their neighborhood park is now padlocked while the Army Corps of Engineers removes low-level radioactive waste discovered beneath the topsoil. Is it in this area here? Or Janelle Wright was one of the first neighbors that noticed the common illnesses when former classmates started reconnecting on Facebook. If we did not have social media, we would never have put these pieces together. The group put together this map showing more than 2,700 instances of cancer, autoimmune disorders, and brain and thyroid tumors. Within a six house radius, I knew four people with brain cancer, um, one a child and one a young professor. I just thought that is really odd. The area where they lived is called North County, which includes Hazelwood and Florissant. Coldwater Creek runs through the towns. For decades, two sites near the creek were used to store radioactive waste from America's nuclear weapons program. The waste came from St. Louis's Mallinckrodt Chemical Company which the government hired to process uranium. Tens of thousands of barrels of nuclear waste, many open to the elements, contaminated the soil and the nearby creek. What you see is an environmental health disaster unfolding slowly over decades. County Health Director Dr. Faisal Khan says identifying a true cancer cluster is very difficult, but he says what's happening in North County needs long-term study. The rates of appendix cancer, for example, which is relatively rare. We see about 800 cases across the nation year wide. To find seven or eight cases in one zip code or one small geographic area is rather unusual. Currently, engineers are testing the rest of the 15 mile creek. It will take years to be completed. Years Mary Osco doesn't have. My husband and I have had to sit down at night and have discussions on, do I want to be cremated or buried? I don't want to be buried in North County. That's one thing I've told him. I do not want to be buried where the soil is. Several residents have filed a class action lawsuit against Mallinckrodt and other companies that handled the uranium. It is very early in the legal process and Mallinckrodt told us the company worked under the direction of the U.S. government and at no time did Mallinckrodt own any uranium or its byproducts. The Atomic Energy Commission, which hired the cleanup companies, no longer exists. So we are seeking comment from the Department of Energy. And Scott, we will continue to follow this story. Benita, thank you very much. Benita Nair.